Hi, it's Caleb with App Design Tips, and today I want to show you how to create radial graphs inside of Sketch. So to start things off, I have a background here. I'm just going to create a circle, and this circle I'm going to make it 200 pixels by 200 pixels. And I'm going to remove the fill and just add a border. And this border I'll just make blue and make this 20 pixels thick. Now this is a great start just to have a circle with a stroke inside of it. And we want to make sure that this stroke has a center position. That's really important especially when we're capping off the ends here. Um, it'll just make it look weird if we don't do that starting out. So now we want to just start things off with just creating a simple maybe 10 pixel dash and then we want the gap to be 9,999 pixels and that's just to make sure that this dash doesn't show up anywhere around this circle right here. So now we have this started out and the important part of creating an accurate radial graph is showing exactly what the percentage value is and illustrating it in this graph. And the best way to do that is we're going to need to do a little bit of math in here but it's okay, it's just a simple formula that I'll show on the display here and you can follow along with me. So we want to start off with, let's say we want a 75% radial graph. We're going to do 0.75 for the radial graph. And then we're going to use this little star key for the multiplication. We're going to multiply this by the height of the circle, which is 200 pixels, that's the diameter. And then we're going to times this by pi, which is 3.14, that's the circumference of the circle. And when I hit enter, we can see here that we have a 75% graph. And we can flip this any way that we want, but it's important that we don't try to resize this because it'll break the math involved. If we want to resize this, we select our elements, we jump into the scale tool, and here we can resize this to 50% and it'll retain that same 75% math here. So that's how to create a simple radial graph that you can always change in here. We can do some quick math here to change this to be 30% for example, 0.3 times the diameter times pi, and now we have 30%. Now this is great, but what if we want to have multiple radial graphs in the same circle? We can do this by selecting this first one here and just quickly copying and pasting this to reuse. I'm going to set the color for the second one to be orange, and let's make this 70%. So we can jump back into our border settings. Do 0.7 times 200 times 3.14. And now we have a 70% radial graph. And we have this 30% one behind it. So I want to just grab this layer, bring it down, and we can see both of these graphs. And all you have to do at this point is use this rotation tool. Just drag this a little bit to the left. And we can have this close to show 100% here but it doesn't look too great having multiple graphs with this rounded cap. So I'm going to select both of my layers, jump back in here and just do an end cap that's just flat. And then to get this accurate, I just select my orange layer here and just finish rotating this until it touches both ends. And now we have a multiple value radial graph. Now this is great by itself, but I actually like to show a two pixel gap in between my values here. So there's a little bit more math that we can do to accomplish this. So I'm going to hide one of these layers and now we have this layer here, this is the 30% layer. And we can go back into our border settings and we can do the same math, 0.3 times 200 times 3.14. But then we want to subtract two pixels from this. And when we hit return, we can see that that just got a little bit smaller here. And I'm going to hide this now and I'll show my 70% graph. And I'm going to go back into my border settings, do the 0.7 times 200 times 3.14. And then I want to subtract two pixels also from this one. Now that we've subtracted them on both, I'm going to unhide my layers. And we can see here that there's two pixels in between this one and two pixels in between this one, making the graph look really clean and really accurate. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos.